All right, another thing that a lot of new campers worry about is sleep and how to get a good night's sleep in the woods. What you'll find is that the quality of your sleep depends a little bit on the quality of your gear and a lot on how well you've researched or how much you know about what you need to get. Sleeping bags. Most of the time camping in our area, just about any sleeping bag will do. Um, most of the ones that you'll find at sporting goods stores and things like that are three season tents, which means they're rated down to about 40 degrees. Um, that means you'll be comfortable and, and warm enough, even if the temps drop to, to 40 degrees. You can use those in fall, spring, summer, um, get lots of use out of a sleeping bag. That is three seasons. Um, this one has been a good one for us. It's a mummy style bag, which means it has a little bit of a hood over the top, so you can really snuggle down into it. Um, and it has a little bit of a narrowed foot box, so you really just feel sort of hugged in your sleeping bag. The important thing about sleeping bags is that while you might transport them to the campsite in a bag like this, ideally, at home, when you're not using them, you either want to put them in a big like mesh laundry bag or hang them on a hanger in your closet or in your garage because over time, if you store them like this, the insulation inside of them gets compressed and that means that they're not going to keep you as warm. Sleeping bags and sleeping pads keep you warm because of the air pocket that they create. And so if you smush them down, then they're not going to keep you as warm and you might need to replace it. Again though, if you're a beginner, um, the basic bags that you can get at most of the sporting goods stores are going to be fine. Now a bag might keep you warm, but it's not necessarily going to keep you as comfortable just by itself as it will if you combine it with something like a sleeping pad. Now if you want to bring um, an inflatable air mattress, that's absolutely fine. What I have found with those though uh, is that they're heavy and they're not as durable as the pads that are marketed specifically for um, camping. And so it, it's really your call whether you want to buy one of these um, specialized camping sleeping pads. If you plan on doing some backpacking or are really interested in um, keeping your gear sort of lightweight then these are a great option. If you do a lot of car camping and it doesn't really matter how much stuff you take, then one of those Coleman inflatable mattresses or, or whatever you find um, is going to be fine as well. So everybody in our family has their own sleeping pad that goes underneath their sleeping bag. This one is one that is self-inflating. It's got a really durable cover on it. Um, and you just open this valve and it inflates. You can put a, put a, put a few breaths in there and that will um, fill it up faster. But this has been a really good one um, for me because it is made of kind of a thicker material. It makes me feel a lot better about what happens if I put it down on a sharp rock or uh, that maybe there's a, a tough spot underneath my tent. But these work really well. Another variety of sleeping pad you're going to see is uh, one that comes with its own sort of bag pump and what, uh, what you'll see with these is that they're fairly thin but they come with a bag that looks a lot like a dry sack that you'd see um, for canoeing or kayaking and the bag has a valve at the end of it. You attach it to the valve and the pad sort of shake out the bag, get some air in it, roll it down, and that inflates your pad. This one has the benefit of being really, really lightweight. It packs down really small, and that one's one that I really enjoy using for um, backpacking trips because it um, doesn't increase my pack weight a lot, but it still has been really comfortable and kept me really warm um, on coldish nights. The final piece of your sleep system that you're going to want to remember is a pillow. You can bring a pillow from home, but those pillows from home, first of all, you're probably going to want to take back home. You don't want them to get dirty or wet or gross. 
uh, out in the woods. And so a camping pillow is a good thing to have. Um, some people, the really lightweight backpackers, what they'll do is they'll just bring a pillowcase and shove all their clothes into that pillowcase and use that for a pillow or use their pack for a pillow. That's fine. Um, the most important thing to me when I'm hiking is a good night's sleep. So I want to be comfortable. Uh, Magellan and, and Coleman and a couple of other manufacturers make these camping sized pillows. They're still built mostly like uh, the pillows that you have at home. One side's nylon, the other side is kind of a fleecy cotton. Um, these have some of the same problems that your sleeping bag will if you keep it packed down tight all the time, which is that cushioning gets compressed and then it's not very useful as a pillow anymore. So you want to make sure that if you get one of these, um, don't put it in the bag until you're ready to leave the house and go camping and that way it stays nice and cushy. The other drawback of pillows like these is that they do hold moisture and so even if it's just a humid day or if there's been a heavy dew fall overnight, you're going to want to make sure that you leave these out for a while after you get home from camping so that there's, they're good and dry before you put them away. That way they don't grow mildew or get funny st uh, smells or stains. And that works out really well. Um, these don't last a terribly long time, but if you do keep uh, good care of them, they will last enough for you to feel like you got your money's worth. An option that, that we've switched to recently is an inflatable pillow. Now, I know some of us growing up have seen these inflatable pillows like spa pillows for the bath or you see them on airplanes and they've come a long way. Um, this pillow is one that just takes a couple of breaths to inflate. This valve on the back also has a button in it that lets you adjust the firmness of the pillow. So if you over inflate it, you just let a little air out and um, you can adjust it to your comfort. This one has and a lot of them have an elastic band on the back so you can put it over your sleeping pad or around your sleeping pad so it doesn't move around on you. Um, so, and, and obviously it packs down really small, like smaller than a Coke can. So these are a great option both to save weight and because they are um, so uh, versatile and also if you care for them, they can last a really long time. Um, obviously, it's an inflatable, so keep it away from sharp things. But it's not going to lose loft like a traditional pillow, and it's not um, as likely to pick up funky smells or mildew as something that has a cotton or down fill in it. So, pillow, sleeping pad, sleeping bag, these are your keys to a good night's sleep in the woods. A tent uh, is going to be a must for especially uh, areas where you don't know what the weather's going to be like. 